Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. If you're catching this video on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. Uh, feel free to look around. If you have any questions about any of the product that I used, um, feel free to um, shoot me an email. Below, you'll find the link to my blog as well as the uh, link to my store for all of your stamping needs. So um, I hope I can be of service to you. I'm going to give just a few seconds to make sure I'm live because I'm not sure I'm, I am. <laughs> and to see if anyone hops on. Last week I was having some technical difficulties and I hope I'm not, I hope, oh good, I see people on. Okay, phew. Hello everyone, good evening. For a second there I thought I was having technical difficulties again like last week, but I'm glad I'm not. <laughs> okay, whew, we're on, we're good. Hi everyone, good evening. Happy, happy Wednesday night. I am so happy to be here with you today. I was looking forward to it. I had ordered the bundle that we're going to use tonight, oh, I don't know, like last week or something like that, and I held out till today. It came today that Mr. UPS dropped it off. Actually, no, he dropped it off yesterday. I'm lying. But I made it today because um, I wanted to use this new um, bundle that I got with the um, the suite, and it's just so much fun, so bright, so cheerful, and I'm so excited to be here and share it with you. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Linda. Hi, Karen. How's everyone tonight? <coughs> Thank you, Linda, for sharing and Lisa for sharing. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Feeling the love. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Good evening. Oh, thank you for sharing. I so appreciate it. How's everyone doing tonight? Everyone well? Everybody stay warm. It's so cold. Oh, yay. Oh, this set here, Karen, you've gotten, but you haven't had a chance to play with it yet? Well, I just cracked it open today. Like literally, you know, when you open the new stamp set and you like pull it apart and it's like the angels start singing. No, that's a bit exaggeration, but you know, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> so I have to admit, I started off with this card. Um, I made this one. This is very like a Jamie card. Oh, you're working on scrapbook pages? Oh, Linda, please send me pictures. I would love to see or post um, on my Facebook page. I'd love to see what you're working on. Yay, Terry, you found me. Yay. <laughs> I actually was thinking of you. I was like, hmm, should I send her the link? I'm so glad you found it. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited to be here with you, everyone. Um, so I started off with this card today, and this is a very much a Jamie card. It doesn't have too much glitz or glam to it. It's pretty kind of cut and dry. Um, some layering, some die cutting, some stamping, but overall kind of a, a pretty simple card. Uh, you can't watch long, but we'll watch the replay. Oh, no problem, Lisa. No worries. Yes. Very fun for granddaughters. Very fun for young birthdays. Um, or really any birthdays. I mean, honestly, it's just so bright. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the paper. I've already started chopping it up. But it's just so happy. <laughs> it really is like happy paper, happy um, st uh, stamps and whatnot. <clears throat> oh, yay. You'll have to show me, Karen, what you're working on. Okay, so I started off with this card, and I'm like, I like this card, and I'm going to feature it on my blog one of these days, but I'm like, mm, is it like a Wednesday night tutorial card? <laughs> I kind of like thought, hmm, I should probably bring a little bit more to the table. So that's when I started um, creating this card, and honestly, I went to Pinterest for inspiration. I don't do it too often. Um, but sometimes when I'm just looking to get kind of inspired, like what are people doing with it? What's out there? And I was really, hi, Bob from Live Oak. Good to see you. Oh, hold on. That's the, is it, um, is it Kathy <laughs> or maybe Bob? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome from California. Um, so I went to Pinterest and I found a card that um, one of the ladies that I do my Thursday blog hop with, her name is Christy Gray, and oh it is, okay, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> um, she did a card and I was completely inspired by it and I told her that I would give her a shout out tonight because um, today's card was definitely inspired by her and I think her, if I'm Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe her blog is Stamping with Christy, K-R-I-S-T-I. -I. So definitely head over there to see what she made and to see kind of my inspiration. 
Um, but so I'm going to be making this card for you today. This one I'll feature on my blog maybe next week or something. I don't know. But um, this is the one I'm going to be making for you tonight. And hi, Kathy. Good evening. And um, it actually features a technique that I didn't know it was a formal technique. Hi, Barbara. Good. Oh, thanks for sharing. So appreciate it. I always love that you put the little cactus there. That's always so fun. <laughs> um, and I honest to goodness, I saw it this afternoon. And I was like, oh, that's the name of the technique. And I'm like, oh, got to remember it. And of course, five minutes before I'm about to go live, I can't remember what the name of that technique is called. But it's basically where you set one die cut inside of another. That's what we're going to call it. If I think of it or I come across it again, I will um, make a note of it in the comments below. Oh, thanks, Kathy. Appreciate it. Um, so this is the card. Let's just dive in because um, it's not too complicated, but I'm just super excited. I'm really excited tonight. So my card base here is Calypso Coral, and it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Do you know, I think every Wednesday night, I always forget to take out my bone folder. <laughs> like without fail, I always forget. <laughs> so that way. The green mint reminds me of a baby shower. Oh, yes. Oh, Joanna, let me show you. Wait till you see this paper. This is like screams baby shower. This is in that same um, pack of paper. And I have a feeling that Facebook Live isn't going to do this paper um, justice. But isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Inlay die cutting. Was that what it was called, Amy? I saw it and I thought, oh, I'm going to remember that. I don't know who I thought I was kidding. There's no way I was going to remember that. <laughs> there's like, there's a technique. It could be that in laid die cutting. It very well could be. So isn't this pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty for like a ba a girl baby shower? I thought that's so, so pretty. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know either? Okay. And then, okay. So the flip side of that is like a whole bunch of gummy bears, really bright and cheerful. Then we have this gorgeous, like, again, everything's bright and cheerful. Rainbows. Um, it's got, like, gorgeous grape, calypso coral, pineapple punch, melon mambo, granny apple green. And then that's the flip side of it. So pretty. As you can see, all my paper has been cut since my, since my uh, product shares. Um, then we have this one with all these different size jars. And this coordinates with the die cuts. And so the die cuts will perfectly cut out those three sizes. And then the flip side of it are like these candy wrappers. So fun. And then we have these like gumball machines. So fun. So, so fun. And then some melon mambo striped paper behind it. Exactly. Very happy paper. And then I don't have a lot left of this because I used it a lot in my cards today. But um, we have a sheet that has like all kinds of cupcakes and candy wrappers and, and lollipops in it. Hi, Michelle. And then the flip side of that is a Calypso Coral uh, polka dot. And then this is all I have left of this <laughs> is this guy here. This is uh, really pretty. They don't mark it as one of the coordinating colors, but this is very similar, if not is, Highland Heather like polka dots with a variety of colors. And then the flip side is the Calypso Coral. Do I keep saying Calypso Coral? I mean Coastal Cabana. I just caught myself. Coastal Cabana, sorry. Coastal Cabana um, stripes on the back. So my goodness, if you are in need of happy paper, of birthday paper, you definitely need this paper. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It makes it really easy to create a card when the paper just can do all the work for you, honestly. Okay, so last week I introduced, and I'm going to use them again, these rectangle stitched framelit dies. These are a must. Would be Q for M summer birthday invites. I think, yeah, exactly. You got it. Beautiful. Look at these rectangle dies, and look at how many you get. A ton. These are the two that I'm using to create um, my frame and then the inside frame. And what's great about these, and I said it last week, is that they cut the inside as well as the, uh, not cut, they they um, emboss the inside as well as the outside. So they give you a stitch on the inside, like the positive and then the negative. And you'll see that in a second. Hi, Sharon. Good evening. <clears throat> so these are the two sizes I used. You can kind of get a feel for like where I pulled them out there. And let me see if I can give you a measurement here. This one's about three and a half by five. And then this guy is like two and three quarters by like four and one eighth or so, give or take. And I used that one Coastal Cabana striped uh, designer series paper, that one pattern. 
And I love it. Barbara's like, the rectangles are a must. They are. They are. They totally are. And all I did is I put my, let's imagine this is my paper. I put one rectangle down and then I put the other one kind of inside it. And then I ran it through the big shot and out popped this frame. And because the rectangles um, will stitch the inside and the outside, we get a double stitch on this. So there's a stitch on the inside. I don't know if, if the if the light is catching it just right for you, but there's a stitch on the inside and on the outside. And you are left with this beautiful um, negative that we're not using today. I suppose you, I could have flipped it over and used that as my inside, um, but don't throw that away. That's a perfectly good rectangle there that can definitely go towards another card. But then I used the Coastal Cabana polka dot pattern and ran it through just with the small rectangle and that gave me this. So one's the inside and one's gonna be the outside. Like so. And a tip is when you are running your rectangles through, kind of run them in um, through the big shot at an angle. Kind of makes it go a little bit easier on them instead of like clunking, clunk, clunk, clunk. And what I love about Stampin' Up's uh, paper is, designer series paper, is that it's all meant to perfectly color coordinate together. This is what drew me um, hook, line, and sinker <laughs> back in the day to Stampin' Up is that all of the colors match perfectly. They coordinate. I know that that color is going to match that color perfectly. I don't have to try. It's not a guessing game. Stampin' Up does all the work for me. So thank you, Stampin' Up. Okay, so I wanted to make the uh, frame pop. We're going to be using a ton of dimensionals. And I'm looking at this going, I probably should have pulled out more. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be enough. Um, so I'm going to put dimensionals all the way around. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I'm still getting over my cold from <coughs> last week. And of course, I was like, I won't need a bottle of water. I'll be fine. And now I can feel the tickle. So uh, I'm going to put these all the way around. Thank goodness dimensionals are super cheap. They're $4 and you get three of these in a pack. I don't know how many that is. A ton a lot <laughs> so you don't have to you be too conservative with them you can just use them that's what they're there for we don't hoard our things we use them love your card the rectangle dies are amazing i agree linda i totally agree you know what i'm secretly hoping for between you me and everybody else that's listening I'm really hoping that in the new annual catalog that stampin up brings out new circles and circles and square ones that are kind of like the like the rectangles that they emboss that they um that they what's that word that they do the stitch on the inside and outside I haven't heard anything I have no idea it's just a wish I'm hoping <laughs> that's all <laughs> don't quote me I have no idea I just was like oh that would be amazing because I use these stitched ones all the time constantly you too Linda exactly right Okay, so now this gets a little tricky. Not tricky, but whew, it's a little hard. It's challenging, let's put it that way, to get it even and straight because now this paper is kind of flimsy and, and it's got these dimensionals and once they're on, they're on for good. So my suggestion is anytime you're trying to um, adhere anything straight, well, I mean, we pretty much always want things straight, right? Anytime we're adhering anything straight is to put your card against the grid paper. There's Stampin' Up um, sells this grid paper for a reason because um, it can really help us. Oh, we'll find out April 13th. I know. So excited. Oh, ovals too. Yes, ovals. That's not, forget about ovals. So when, um, butt it up right against one of those lines there and that will naturally give your eye um, an even, no, a straight line across. So if I were to like put my paper like that and try and go, straight it's harder because my eye is working with the, the the grid lines going this way and actually i think i'm going to stand up and do this so aim for straight and center that looks good that's good enough is that good how's that look and then this one here we're just going to oops, um set why do i feel like that's running low set on the inside just kind of weasel it in and then adhere it down I suppose you could have done it the other way around um you know put this one in first and then the other one I just think this one's the striped one's a little trickier to get down just because it's 
a little more flimsy because it's got the huge cutout and it's got the dimensionals, whereas this one in the inside is just easier to kind of throw in the center there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> perfect. I like that. <laughs> perfect. Okay, so let's set this aside for a second. I want to introduce the stamp set. I don't think I've showed it to you yet. Ta-da! This is the stamp set that we're using. This is the sweetest thing. It's from the Stampin' Up's 2019 Occasions Catalog. Um, really fun and bright. It's part of a suite, so it does work with that designer series paper, which is called How Sweet It Is. And it's all, again, meant to work together. It's got a couple of sentiments here. Gummy bears, kind of like these chocolates, some wrapped candies. These look like, um, what are those called? Gumdrops? jelly beans and then a couple of jars and it goes and coordinates with the jar of sweets framelits dies which look like this gorgeous and they're meant to kind of coordinate and work together so this guy cuts out this one and this one cuts out this one and this one this one and then you've got these really fun of um kind of fun candies which cut out and emboss which i've used on this card here can you see the little detail that's on that candy so it's, it, it cuts out the outside and then it gives kind of like this impression on the middle, which is kind of fun. So let me get all this out of the way. And I need a scrap piece of white. This should do it. And for colors, I was really inspired by the new Coastal Cabana Granny Apple Green. Um, I think it's called Reversible Ribbon or Reversible, I think it is. One side is Coastal Cabana and one side is Granny Apple Green. And of course, I did say I was inspired by Christie's card as well, but um, this ribbon is so beautiful and it's got um, like a nice weight to it. it it's really, I'm not a huge <coughs> ribbon. Um, I love ribbon. <laughs> I'm not a huge bow person um, because I feel like sometimes they just kind of fall apart, but this has some nice weight to it. It can really hold up well. So this is gorgeous ribbon. And here are my ink pads, Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. If I said Calypso Coral, um, if I'm saying that at all, I apologize. It definitely is Coastal Cabana and not Calypso Coral. Not to be confused. Okay. I'm going to um, take the first jar, this kind of bigger, rounder guy, and I'm going to stamp him. I'm basically going to do like jar one color, candy one color, and then um, flip them and do jar the other color and then the candy the other color. <coughs> okay. Here we go. Hopefully we get good coverage. <laughs> Hopefully it comes out well. Let's see. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And then our candy, what did I do? I did candy wrappers in this guy. Calypso coral and our candy. And I did this twice. And honestly, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to it. I just kind of like aimed one kind of to the left like that flipped them around and kind of nestled this one to the right. They overlap a little, but I, I think it looks fine. Like so. Actually, let's leave those out. Next, I'm going to use the other jar, which is this guy here. I'll show you. Um, this one. Although I could have used him. I think, I just think this one's kind of fun with the wide base to him. And I'm going to stamp this one in Calypso Coral. Did I just say Calypso Coral? I did. Oh my goodness, Coastal Cabana. Oh my goodness. It's Coastal Cabana, folks. Don't listen. If I say Calypso Coral, I'm not, I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> oh boy. And then this time, I thought it would be super fun to use the gummy bears because they're so cute. And what's great about these um, bears is that they're, can you see they're curved? They're naturally curved. So they're going to naturally go fit right in that spot, which is perfect. Perfect for that jar. And I'm going to stamp this one in the granny apple green. <laughs> Coastal Cabana. I know. I'm going to, I'm going to get it wrong all night. I don't know. It's because they're double C's, I guess. That's my excuse. <laughs> That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <coughs> okay, let me just close that up so it doesn't dry out. And we're going to get my dies. So that guy and then this guy. 
and I'm gonna bring them into the screen. I apologize, the Big Shot takes up like the whole screen and it's basically, it's gonna make the, everything move. But it is kind of fun to see how it cuts out. I think I need to make another, oh, my computer just shut off. I need to make another one with Calypso Coral. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, I should. My goodness. Every like new um viewers are gonna be like, wait, I'm so confused. Which one is it? <laughs> okay, so this guy fits over here. I'm using the magnetic platform because it holds down my framelits nicely. I'm gonna try and be lazy and cut them both out at the same time. Although sometimes if your magnetic platform repels, there's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly normal. You just have to play with it until it kind of grabs. And yeah, they don't, they're good. I'm gonna do them at the same time. Hi, Karen from Arizona. Oh, that actually looked like it shifted, or is that just a shadow? There, okay. Good evening, how's everyone? Oh, <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, let's see. Whoops, as they go flying. There's the first one. There's the second one. So pretty. Great for a kid's birthday, adult's birthday, any birthday. Although, did I show you the inside of my card? I don't think I ever showed it to you. So this is, I just tagged a hello on this because on the inside, I found this um, sentiment and it says, life is sweeter with friends like you. So I thought I actually wouldn't use it as a birthday card. Um, I have a bunch of birthday cards already and I th I'm always looking, and I've said this before, I'm always looking for, um, <laughs> you forgot, hi mom. Um, I'm always looking for like just because cards and I literally went through all my stamp sets looking for one that had some sort of a sweet statement to it um, and I found that one from the detailed with love. Life is sweeter with friends like you. <laughs> Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's, this is my example. The big jar, I just adhered straight down. And then this guy, I used dimensionals. Like I said, this card uses, oh look, I'm gonna have like just enough too. This card uses a lot of dimensionals. I think it adds a lot of interest to the card and, oops. And like I said, it's so, um, they're so inexpensive. <laughs> for $4, you get a huge pack of them. They really last me so, for so long, and I use them just about, I use at least one dimensional in every card, if not a whole bunch of them, like today. Oh, yeah, thanks, Karen. Okay, so that's that. Next, let's do this bow. Although, you know what? Look, it fell off. I used a, a glue dot, but it's not really doing the job. I think I might use tear and tape. Okay, let's make it first, and then I'll worry about how we're going to adhere it down. So again, this is that double-sided ribbon. Gorgeous. I'm going to use the fork technique, which is pretty simple. I know a lot of you know it, but I'll just review. So you go, the open end is on the back, and you're going to go over that front one through the middle of your fork. <clears throat> like so. And then this guy, you pull in the front and have him go down the middle. So, any kind of cheating when it comes to bow making, and I'm all over it. You use about five thousand dimensionals on every card. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about a, on average. <laughs> I do too. It really, I don't know. It elevates a card, right? It makes it go from like a eh card to like ooh. <laughs> okay, so that's my fork bow. Slide it off. I've done it in other videos. If you have any other questions about exactly how to make that bow, I can I can um, tell you it's slower. I know a lot of people already know how to make it. Is that my front? I think that's my front. I I lost it. And I didn't, although it is double-sided, it naturally wants to do that and give me the granny apple green, but I just kind of maneuvered the ribbon so that it would stay the calypso coral showing. It's awfully loose. Why is it loose? Okay. And I'm going to try adhering. I mean, normally I would use like liquid glue to hold down a, a ribbon, a bow. But um, for the sake of time and not having to hold a bow down waiting for it to dry, let's try uh, tear and tape. A little piece. I love this stuff. Tear and tape. It's perfect for anything you're 
you want to adhere down um, that has any sort of texture, like if you've embossed it, heat embossed it, or just use an embossing folder. Oh yeah, much better. <laughs> that puppy's not going anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna do the same on this side. And it's great for any like 3D projects or um, anything that needs a little bit more oomph holding it down. And this is again, this is another one. My goodness, I've had this stuff forever and I've done so many like Christmas projects with it. Did I say Calypso Coral again? Stop it, did I really? No, I didn't, did I really? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's getting bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's getting bad, ladies. It's not Calypso Coral, it's Coastal Cabana. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay. And then we're just gonna give it a little bit of a haircut. Um, I kept my tails kind of short on this guy, although I'm I love big tails. <laughs> Not big tails, big tails. <clears throat> like that. I don't know. You tell me. I can trim them more if you think that's a bit much. Maybe a little bit more, but I do. I like longer tail bows. <laughs> oh, Barbara, did I really? Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. <laughs> At least we've established now that every time I say it, I really mean Coastal Cabana. <laughs> we know. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just gonna do the sentiment quickly, but this card is gonna be mine, and I stamped it with like a, just a very generic hello with that life is sweeter with friends like you on the inside. And one of you is gonna receive this card, so you let me know, where is it, would you like like the happy birthday. This one's a little long. I don't think he's gonna fit very well. I was looking for something kind of small, kind of like to fit in the corner, or I can do sweets for you, or we could do what I did before, which is the hello. This is from the Flourishing Phrases uh, stamp set. The hello on the outside, and then from the detailed with love, life is sweeter with friends like you on the inside. Looks good to me, looks great. Okay, so I guess I'll just do what I did. Is everybody okay with that? Or did anybody want a birthday card? Although, you know what? I didn't cut my whisper white inside. Hold on, think about it. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Oh, a birthday card? I like the friends like you. Oh, we're divided. Hold on, I gotta cut it inside, so. I forgot to cut an inside one. I like the way you did yours. Very cute. Oh, okay. Then I'll do that. Let's see here. Inside is always five and a quarter by four. I forgot to cut that one. Hello with a blank inside. You know, Lynn, it's funny that you say that because I almost didn't even put the hello. I was just going to leave it, um, the jars and then just put that in the inside. Oh, why is my phone going through a charge so much? Is anybody else having that? My phone just said low battery. Um, okay, so, okay, I think we'll do the hello. Everybody says yes to hello. I just need a little piece of scrap here, whisper white scrap. And again, the hello comes from the flourishing phrases, this guy down here. And I need a block. And I stamped him, what did I stamp him in? Ready? <laughs> Granny Apple Green. <laughs> the insides. Ah, I made those Christmas thank yous and they were returned to me because I forgot to do the white insides. You forgot to do the white insides. Oh, really? Because well, Oh, because you couldn't see it or something? It was too dark? Um, wow, this is really hard to do. I'm not sure that's straight. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, that was a complete guessing game whether that was going to be straight or not. <laughs> oh, hold on. Where's my cutter? I could just snip that, but I just it won't be straight if I just snip it. I have to use a cutter. It's just one of those things. <laughs> there we go. If not, it's going to be a little off. I can I just know it. And then I will cut it down a little bit this way with my snips. I can do a, a short snip straight, but not a long one. Okay. So spoiled. Oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> That's funny. 
Um, where did I put my dimensionals? I had like, there they are. I had like two left. Although don't throw this away. If you have this sitting at home and you only have a few left, go ahead and cut all those out. Don't, don't go throwing those away. <laughs> That's perfectly good dimensionals all around. So, and I had this guy, I don't know, kind of hanging to the right. Again, I want to make him straight. So I'm going to put him straight on my grid paper. And kind of have him sitting there. And then, I don't know, I'm going to do the inside. I think it's fun. And again, where is it? It's from the Detailed with Love. Life is sweeter with friends like you. I literally went through all of my sentiments, and all of my stamps, and I was like, what's one that says sweet? There was another one I found. Um, I can't think of what it was now off the top of my head. But it said something about sweet. But I really like this one. And this one I stamped in, oh, where is it? I think it's Granny, yep, Granny Apple Green too. Or if it was just, no, not cheap at all. No, you have to use the edges. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, don't throw that away. That's like got so much life to it still. No, 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 that's not being cheap. That's just being smart. <laughs> okay, so whenever you're using the, well, this is the clear mount, but if you're using cling mount, it's hard to um, get it straight because you can't see through it. It's not like the photopolymer where you can just look right through and you know exactly where you're going and it's all straight. So what I like to do is I ink it up Again, use your grid paper. It's here for a reason. I love grid paper. And I line up the bottom of the stamp, right, the bottom, to one of my lines as best I can. And then when I lift it up, I'm like, is that sentiment straight? Well, it's a little cockeyed. It's a little, even though my stamp was straight, the rubber isn't straight. Does that make sense? So now I know I have to kind of compensate it a little bit to the right. So then I take it and I overcompensate to the right just a little bit. Oh, and I went a little too far. <laughs> Keep going until you kind of get a feel for, um, oh, that's perfect. Okay, I gotta replicate that one. <laughs> until you kind of get a feel for um, how you have to position the stamp. You just ordered the set, now I know what I want to make with them. Oh, yay, Kathy! Yay, 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 yay. So exciting. Okay. Oh boy, I'm nervous. <laughs> when in doubt, I'm flipping it over and just doing it again. <laughs> Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's pretty straight, right? That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, so let's finish our card and we'll be done, done, done. If you've been watching and haven't um, made some sort of a comment of some sort and you would like to get in the running to receive this card, make sure you make some sort of a, a comment. It can just be hey or hi or and even an emoji, something of some sort. Because um, based on all your names, I go through when I'm all done and I throw them all in a hat and I pick one. So um, if you're watching and you haven't made a comment of some sort and you'd like to receive it, make sure you do that for sure. There we go. And we're all done. Look at that. I just think this is, makes me so happy to look at. I love the colors. And I especially love the Coastal Cabana is my favorite part. <laughs> Thanks, ladies, for crafting with me tonight. If you have any questions about any of the product that I used, um, shoot me an email. Get a hold of me somehow. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, down below will be links for my blog as well as to my store. Um, if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Thanks, ladies, for joining me tonight, and I will see you next week. See you then. Bye-bye.